Hi, welcome to this uh, third video tutorial on WebRTC series. In the previous video, we show you how to attach uh, the video stream to the video elements, and uh, we add this uh, that uh, second video, and then here we could get stuff like this one request the media. Normally, in it's the first time that you are doing this one, you will get a prompt here requesting you to give or refuse the access so you get a prompt here you don't see it here because yeah i already run it so it is safe in my cookies then you will show the video like this one now we need to show another button here from where we can stop we could stop uh, this video now so uh, that's the objective that you have to do here and uh, so I will just refresh this one to stop it for now. And then if we go to our documentations, we started here and then retrieve uh, the video from the browser requesting the permissions with get media. And then it return a stream. Using that stream, we showed uh, the video on the video elements but what is important here is we see here uh, this uh, represent uh, media capture uh, and stream api represent a stream of media content and a stream consists of tracks so that stream that we use to show the video in the video element can be split it into many tracks and that is the video tracks or audio tracks so that is uh, what is shown here. And then now I mean that we can stop individually if you want, we, could, we can stop the audio and the video and so on. And if you go through the documentations here and uh, through the documentations, see some methods that are already there that might help us. We can see here we have media stream uh, track stop and then stop playing the source associated to the track both the sources and the track are dissociated, are dissociated. So we are going to use this method here to uh, stop our video. So if you go back to our code now, we need to uh, come back to the view here and attach another button, same as before. We attach it here and this will be called stop stream and then instead of attach I will call it stop stream and then we show here stop the video stream so here show the video stream and then here stop video stream so same as before nothing changed now and then uh, as uh, then uh, what we have to do after doing this one is to come this uh, we need to go and create go to our service we come back to the up component, up component later and then in our service here we need to get another method that we call uh, stop media stream here will be our new method here turn in void and then here so we are going to check if the stream exists before stopping so uh, same as what we have here I will just copy this one so here if the stream exists what we got to do is is to stop 
uh, I will take this one out. Then we retrieve all stream. So uh, here is stream. And then if you go here, we get trucks. Right, this one, we are getting the trucks. And then one thing we can do is uh, Okay, let's take individual stream. We'll come back to that later. I just wanted to show the track in the console, but for now, then uh, should be this one. We call it track. Then for each track, we are going to stop. So here we are just going through all tracks and stop them and stop them that's one here and then after that one is stopped then we need to come and nullify the stream here stream and clear the stream so we just clear it with null and then now we could just uh, do stuff here like console lock console lock and uh, media stream stopped So here we just do like stop and here you are going to no media stream available to stop. If it's not there, we cannot stop something that doesn't exist. So to stop. And then now we can come back and take our method here in the upstream. Now we can now scroll down here and then implement our stop stream method. Here is that one here, then this uh, media service, this media service stop media stream. So then if this um, video element wants to stop it, if it exists, then this uh, video element, that native element, that src objects, is equal to null. So in this way, we clear uh, the video element too. So we clear the video, video element. Here we cleared uh, the stream. And because it was attached uh, to the video element, now we also clear uh, the video elements. So good now and then now I can reduce this one to 4 make it smaller then if um, if you go now to our demo and refresh this one now uh, it's not shown All right. Six eighty. I request access. Show okay. Show the video now. It's okay now. And then if you click here, you can see that the video is gone. We just stop it and also clear uh, the video elements. 
if you try to show it now it doesn't show and then if we come in the console we can see that the no media stream is available to stop so then we just refresh this one and then request the access here we can see the media access is granted then we show this one and we stop the stream that is the so then now I just wanted to do a small uh, demo here let's try to see if it work then here before even streaming this one let us declare a small consents here called tracks and then this stream get tracks we just get all tracks here and then console lock here my stream tracks if we do something like this one and here we try to show all the tracks in the console before stopping and then so we just save it also refresh this one and then we request the access it has been granted and then if we show the video it's there and if we stop that one we can see before stopping here we can see the tracks here so we have uh, the video we have we can see here this is the video track which is enabled and then yeah we also have uh, the video track at zero right Here are some statistics and okay it is muted I see we only see the video track here and if you go to the console maybe it's muted here and if you set also the audio to true and we refresh this one request access show sure. the video stop it we can see here now we should have two streams so we have uh, the audio stream and the video stream so yeah it is that's why in some code you always see this zero here is for the first one and this one is the second track so thank you for watching this video i hope again that uh, it has been useful and then it also help you to get more in deep knowledge on stream and you can see uh, like different uh, browser versions and then they are all let us all this uh, common uh, browser here which support uh, the media the media stream track right then stay tuned for the next video Bye.